top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Timpers here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool pixel art um, face cam overlay for streams. Um, it looks really cool. This is actually going to be part one. I'll be showing you guys just how to design it in Photoshop, and then I'll show you guys how to animate it in Photoshop and in part two. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see part two, hit the like button down below. Can we break 100 likes? That would be insane. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload every other day now, guys, so I'm back on the grind. I'm also streaming daily. I'm trying to stream daily anyway. Um, so yeah, let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next on the channel. And with that all being said, let's get on into the video. Right guys, so we're here in Photoshop and this is basically what we will be making. I'm gonna, not going to show you how to make the whole entire thing, but I'll show you guys the basics um, and how to make a nice looking pixel face cam overlay. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, and New, and we're going to make a 1920 by 1080 document. So let's just open this up. Um, 1920 by 1080 RGB 300 resolution like so um, and now you just want to go to the rectangle tool first and just make a random shape uh, and then you want to go to the width and make that 1280 and then the height 720 and then get rid of the um, fill and then press this here and we'll add an outline and you just want to choose a color that you want to do um, so let's say you want to do a nice blue color and then you want to make the the border the pixel size uh, 20 um, and then yeah once you've done that you can just rasterize it and then bring it into the middle and then just decrease the size of it and I'm just gonna make the background black just so we can see what we're doing um, so yeah once you've done this um, you wanna change it so you just guys you wanna go to image image size we need to decrease it so just press backspace get rid of the zero make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edge and pixels so now it's gonna make it really small so you can now start adding pixels to it. So uh, to add pixels, all you do is go to the brush tool, go to pencil, make sure it's on one pixel. So now, um, if you add a new layer and then choose a color you want to use, um, you can now start adding some color to it, like so. So um, you can make the, the uh, actual um, face cam bigger if you want I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna make it one pixel bigger just by doing this um, and if you hold down shift whilst you're um, moving the brush the pencil tool it does it in a straight line which is really helpful so I'm just gonna drag this down here like so So it's just a little bit thicker and you can add a bit more detail to it. So um, I'm actually going to round off one of the corners. One sec, let me just merge these together, Control E. If you go to the erase tool, you want to make sure it's on pencil as well and it's one pixel so it gets rid of one pixel at a time. And I'm just going to round off the corners. I'm just going to round off this corner here, so I'm going to press there, there and there. Um, and then if you go to the pen tool, if you press there just once, now you've kind of rounded it off and it looks quite nice. You can round it off even more if you want, if you go back to the eraser tool, do something like this, and then that, that looks pretty cool as well. Um, and then I'm going to do it the same thing at the top, like so. And then uh, B. So, so we've got that going on now. It looks pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to add some colour to it. So I'm going to get a lighter shade of blue. 
and start adding some colour to it. So I'm going to add a light blue at the top corner up here. And then the same going this way. And I'm going to do that twice. So I'm going to do it on the, uh, the layer below it. Holding shift again. And it's all about adding highlights and shadows. So I'll just show you guys in a sec once I've done this. You can also add a grid. I don't actually use a grid, but you can add a grid just by going into um, view. Um, and then I think, actually no, it's something else. I'm not too sure, but I don't actually use a grid, but you, you guys can find out if you want. Um, but yeah, it's all about adding sh uh, shadows, shadows, shadows and highlights. As you can see at the top here, this is a light of color going all the way along. Um, and yeah, it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna choose a lighter color. And then just go all the way along. I'm gonna make it a little bit, actually no, that's fine. Go all the way down. It is very time consuming, but um, if you put a lot of work into it, it can come out looking really, really nice, guys. So yeah. Um, and then I'm going to choose a really nice white. It's all about layering up different colours as well. So, as you can see, I've got sort of like a highlight going on at the top. And now, in certain areas, I'm just going to add a few um, white pixels. Well, not white, a very light blue. You just want to do it in random places to look like a reflection slash highlight type thing. So once I've actually done this, I'll probably go over it one more time with an even lighter colour. Like so, so I'll go back over to the colour and choose another white. So yeah, it's just like layering colours over the top of each other. But it looks really nice. So yeah, I'm not going to like show you guys how to make the entire thing, but just the basics. It's all about layering colours up on top of each other. I should have really done it on some new layers just in case, because now if I rub it out, it'll rub, rub out the whole entire thing. Uh, but yeah, it's still fine. And now I'm just gonna, with the uh, pipette tool, gonna choose the, this colour, which is the colour of the whole entire thing, and choose a darker colour of it. And then on this bottom part, I'm gonna add some more little shadows. As you can see, very simple stuff. Once you get the hang of it, you can get a lot f faster. But uh, when you first start, it's pretty hard, I've got to say. I'm still pretty new to it myself, but you know, just got to practice. That's the same with everything, really, just practice. So, yeah, it's looking really nice. I'll just, I'm not going to do this bottom left cut corner because it will take a long time. To be fair, if you want, if you can't really be bothered um, to um, do the bottom part, you can just like copy it and just paste it and then flip it so it's down at the bottom. Um, I'm just going to leave it though. But yeah, you can just copy and paste it. That's a never really thought of that to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, it looks really nice if I just zoom out. Um, we're sort of getting the same effects going on on this one. So yeah, I have a highlight at the corner and then as it goes inwards, it's sort of bit more darker um, and yeah it's really nice um, and these things here are really easy to do as well I'll, sh I'll just show you guys how to do that right now so I'm gonna choose a dark color something like that add a new layer and then press the H uh, tool which is to bring up the hand is really good very useful when you're doing pixel work so you don't have to keep going over and clicking and you can just move about really easily. So yeah, as you can see right here, it's like wrapped around the um, side. So on a new layer, just do something like this. I'm 
Um, I might make it a little bit thicker. Something like that. Uh, and then what you can do is add a highlight to it. So if you just get a lighter version of the colour. And then maybe something like this. In fact, no. It kind of blends in with the background. So I'm actually going to press Ctrl U and make it darker. Something like that. And then choose an even darker version of that colour. And I'm just going to add a few pixels like that. So yeah, once you've done that, you can press Ctrl J, duplicate it and move it down a bit. Press Ctrl J, move it down again, a bit again, like so. And it sort of looks like a cool vine just wrapped around the outside. And it gives it something else, something else added to the banner. You can add some more colours, like a highlight to it. And yeah, um, just adding random things to the overlay looks really cool. So as you can see, uh, there's a torch on there. I'm actually going to show you in part two of this how to animate stuff like that and also add other things. But yeah, um, if you want to add like a cool bar going across like that, just to switch it up, all you got to do is press E on the keyboard and just rub away um, a certain area. So let's say you want to get rid of this part. Just do this, Add a, go to the pencil tool and choose a colour. Maybe you want a really light blue. Go across like that and it looks like a cool bar that connects it. Um, so it's not just a solid overlay all the way around. It's just something pretty cool. And you can just add some spots of white to make it look like it's glowing or something. Maybe a bit dark, a darker colour as well. So yeah, that's another really cool thing you can do, so you've got that. Um, and sometimes you, if you, if you stream, uh, if you're making this for yourself or for a streamer, sometimes you want a, another section at the bottom where you can put stuff like donations and um, um, like recent subscribers and things like that. So yeah, you can just like add a new layer and add like a, another little section. Um, going down like so um, maybe a bit bigger and then you can round it round the corners off again so yeah I'm holding down shift to do things like this and then also another good command is G can use that to fill it in um, and yeah it's all about adding shadows and highlights as, as you can see at the top I've got a highlight going all the way around so you want to do the same with these down here so you'll also have a highlight going along this part that's I know I'm rushing this a little bit I don't want this video to go on for too long that's why but as you can see you'll have another highlight going down there and then you'll also have another highlight here so the light source is coming in from this way so that's where you want the highlights um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial I don't want to go into too much depth the next part is actually how to animate it so I'll show you guys how to um, add a cool glowing effect and moving effect there um, and um, probably another thing as well like um, this I know there's a glowing area uh, around here like some glows there but yeah that looks pretty cool hope you did enjoy this video guys if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this on the channel hit the like button subscribe if you are new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next video